Good job, man. Good. Holy Jesus. What is up? It's your boy Johnny Shrevi, BB Pro and Telic. It is. We are back at Pure Muscle and Fitness here in Brampton, Ontario, and I'm here today with IBB Pro Cody Amy competing this year at Texas Pro this year. Classic physique, Racine Dame, and I'm also with one of the co-owners of Pure Muscle Fitness here, Mr. Dorian Hamilton. What's up? And they're gonna take me through their workout today, their back workout today. So like you've seen before, this gym has absolutely everything and then some. So we're gonna have some fun. So guys, keep your eyes glued to the screen, ears glued to the speakers, and let's learn some They wanna wanna turn put straps on. If you guys got these kind of straps, right? Put it in. And you wanna make sure it goes this way, like this. Not the other way. This is wrong. You wanna to go to the hand, across the palm. Boom. Let's go work out. Okay, so we got the unilateral pull-down machine here. It's a Watson machine. This gym has everything, so don't be all nervous or scared because you don't have the same thing. It's basically a pull down. So we're doing the high pull, vertical pull. Terry's first, and I don't know if you guys heard me earlier, heard me and uh, Dorian talking about just training properly, core engagement, and then your reps look like this. Control it, squeeze. With this one, I, I, I have this certain technique that I like to like, when I'm going up on the way up, I picture everything wrapping around my spine, and then I let my teres kind of like take it at the top and really open up. And then as I descend and pull through, I then go into the lat and then just squeeze through into my lat. So a little bit of external rotation. Yeah, so it's a little bit of integration too of like, I am getting teres, I am getting lats. Yeah. You know? Okay. You gotta remember like every part of the contraction, right? Eccentric, low to concentric. You can pause, you can do your stretch pause, contraction pauses, try to utilize every single one. We're doing a little more controlled rep. It's almost like a pump style, full range of motion. Still getting about a one-to-one -one in terms of eccentric and concentric. You see how those elbows are flying right back. The range of motion is sick. The constant stretch. Squeeze. Fish. Come on. Partials. Yeah, finish of the partials. If you guys, you know, get your reps done, straight reps, but if you feel it puts a partial in the end, put them in the end. If you're actually to the point where you're actually fatigued. Don't just put partials in to put partials in. So we do one of the 25,000 machines for back. So little thing different that I do, that Dorian's doing, and we're both right, is that Dorian's body English is gonna be very, you know, upright. He's gonna force the stretching through the scaps when he's protracting in this upright position. You've seen me do it before with, my, with Dr. Mike and we kind of lean a little bit, same idea, because we end up being in the same position at the end anyway, right? The point of this is to make sure we get full stretch from the scaps, full retraction from the scaps. And then we get this nice pull from here, all the way down, coming right into the lower lat. And right here, you see how he's retracting right away. Don't worry, we got it. Tight core, push through. Mm. That's it, nice. Push. Mm. That's the door, come on. Come on. Oh, that's good. Oh, oh, oh. Man. What, two times on this machine? I'm done. I go to drop it, so I kind of get off the seat and I drop it. And because the amount of weight on it, it bounces the seat, and I go to sit down, boom, 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 all the way down, and I had my flare up my disc. I'm just like, great. There's, of course, this happens to me. Cool. It's like when you figure like the, the swivel handles, so you have no, you don't have to worry about your wrist deviation or anything, or it's gonna fit everyone, yeah. right? So, 
such a good design. So as you can as you can tell, Dorian knows a little bit about equipment. Like he probably I think he'd be, he'd be specialized in equipment knowledge. Seeing that his entire gym has everything you can think of, he has to know. Helps with wholesaling and promoting whatnot. It's pretty dope. So one big thing to people's success is actually knowing how the machine works. strength where you don't really hit a sticking point. You, you know, you're very explosive through it. Still an athlete in me, man. Yeah, it's still fluid, like yeah. full range. It's not like a snap, it's like explosive, but start to finish. Yeah. You know? A lot of people will start getting explosive when they lose control, where you're like... I use that in my advantage to help with my... Yeah, it's like very fluid. Yeah. So it looks like, you know, you're... Looks very good. Right. Good. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Big pull. Ah. Good job, man. Good job. <sighs> machines make it easy to stay in place, but you can definitely do this with cables. Just to make sure your body positioning is what you're watching here, right? Yep. Core engagement. Wash up everybody. Wash your feet. Feet are pressing the ground. Push your thighs into the pad. Core is engaged, keeping their torso straight. Then you just wash your lats. Wrap around the torso. Get to 10, stay there, and do one at a time. Yeah, Watch. or you can go. Like, yeah, so just, do, yeah, just do one at a time. Keep, 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 do 10, five. and then stay there. Channel and your yeah. torso rotation. And opposite. Yeah. Ah. 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 Oh, shoot. Oh, endurance on this. Holy. No lactic acid. <laughs> Yeah, Hold. <laughs> this is awesome, man. Love this. Holy shit. I do a majority of my whole workout on just this and do one one vertical. Yeah. Be fine. Yeah, so upper. what the idea is we'll do three different three different sort of uh, different ranges. So start here, start far back, and really plate your feet. And then just understanding, obviously, the cables yeah. in front of us. Yeah. So we're going to follow that pathway, and we're going to be pulling more back, right? Okay, cool. So we're going to be pulling back, yep. Yeah. And then as we walk in, the angle's just changing. So now we're going to just ride this angle. We're coming a little bit yeah. more. Look back and up. Yeah. And obviously, when we get right over yeah, it. Right over. So lot. we're going from, we're starting from here, going this way. Then we're going this way. Then we're going directly this exactly. way. So rep, reps. Just go. 15. Yeah, I did like 10, 10 to 12 per really plant those feet just so you're getting a lot of pull so your collarbones are getting a lot of length yeah. and then you're bringing everything back. So he's going to be targeting a lot more sort of right to here right now. He's almost trying to like squeeze my hand. So everything's getting lengthened, he's pulling everything apart and he's contracting everything together. So pulling it all apart. Wait, I was done. Ooh. That's cool. As soon as you do the second part, you're like, shit, this is actually heavy. I don't train shrugs, but like, this it's makes, like, this yeah. isn't shrugs. This makes sense. Like, yeah. We're hitting like, we're feeling, instead of just mindlessly just pulling your shoulders up, like we're hitting like great parts of your mid back, scab retraction, then like up to the, you know, lower part of the trap, and then right to the top behind like. And when you actually look at the fibers of the traps too, if you're trying yeah. to build mid back and you actually look at like where the fibers are, yeah. if you're doing shrugs with dumbbells like this, you're not hitting any of those fibers. No. <laughs> you know? No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're just getting like, like neck neck <laughs> So you see this, right? We're not going up, he's pulling back. This is pulling here, right? Pinch, pinch, pinch. It's like perfect. 
right? And that's what the trap's job is to do, is help with the traction. This is the first part of your rope. This is where it should be. It's perfect, now we're up here. See how it pinched a little bit up here? But the traps are still going backwards, they're not going up. Then here, now they're going up, but he's still going behind, right? Right straight through, they're still going back and up. So, you know me guys, I don't recommend doing strokes that you guys might think of, the traditional carry some dumbbells and just do this, but what we're doing here is very, there's intention here, right? We want to feel like those who are looking to really finish up with that back thickness, and this is a great exercise to do at the end of your workout, especially with back, is to really like stamp in and remind you to retract the scaps and then knowing how to basically hit each portion of your scap, right? So we're pulling in, right? We're controlling the angle of this, back, and we're hitting each part. A couple little more, now we're gonna be going up a little bit higher, but still, traps are going rounding back and up. Pulling in, track is capping in, and that's all the work that's being done. You can see, arms aren't engaged, he's not pulling, he's, he's connected completely to the scaps doing the work. Those traps, rhomboids, everything, pulling in. Oh! Funny yeah, because when you actually the think second, about the second part, it starts to stick when it's coming out like. Oh, yeah. when you actually think about these muscles. It's actually probably for the average person in the gym. It's probably one of those muscles that people are like, "I want a big back," and that's what they see, and yeah. they just don't know how to work. It. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and that's all you like. You don't need to like. Yeah. You don't need to load this thing with like a heavy dumbbell or barbell. Because half you guys can't even control control it. Yeah. We got 30 pounds on, yeah. and both these guys are stronger than me. But this is like such an important the exercise. Culture, the, the culture's changing, right? Because guys like, you know, yourself, me, you know, Dorian, like Big Mike, like see guys that are like, you know, in our in our league, I would say, you know, preaching this like these small, like intricate, you know, uh, intentional movements, right? Then like your meathead guys, like Trend Twins, that Trend Twins, whatever, that were literally like, hey, cool and go in there and mog weight. It's like, we're the pros, and this is what we're trying to teach now because you'll last longer. Like you can't, you know, f just put the pedal to the floor the entire time and figure it to last. It's like this is like a, this is one of those like sports for the age. Yeah. Yeah. Right? You want to last? You gotta, you gotta train smart. This is a much recommended exercise to do. If you guys want to do traps, I've done, I've done all types of traps. This is the exercise you want to do. If you're really trying to fill in, you know, if you want the, the back thickness, this is just going to make you better at your pulls. All your rows, this is the end range. The beginning range and the end range of your pulls. So do these, you get three well-established, advanced training individuals and we're using 35 pounds. We don't have the maximum amount of dumbbells which are in this gym that have, there's enough. We're not using them, there's a point. This is making me work my ass off, so I recommend this. If this was a product, I'd be sponsored by it. The rear delts actually are very, very apparent in all back poses. Yeah. So it's like, why not train them with that? Because it ties right into your terries, yeah. your, it's a part of the back of yeah. the bicep. It's exactly. a part of the back last way, yeah. you know? And I feel like once the blood is already all there, it's easier you're working right. all those muscles yeah. synergistically, I feel like it just creates a better awareness and connection yeah. within those muscles. Yeah, yeah. So if you are posing afterwards or yeah. you know. Yeah. Good shit. There you go. Whew. Nappy nap. Oh. Great, great cues. Chest on pad. Walking back. Not swinging, easing each movement. Every rep's got attention. There you go. Good job. There you go. Come on. There you go. Oh. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. Guys, if you give that workout a try, let us know in the comment section below. And I recommend you, highly, I highly recommend you guys come visit Burlington, Ontario. Check out Pure Muscle Fitness. It is 100% the best gym I've been in environment-wise, community-wise, equipment-wise. 
ownership wise, everything wise, coming over. He got pros hanging out, training, everything's here. Anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video guys. If you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. You know, become with the Telic, it is transparent, vulnerable truth. And for coaching, join If you want to know more about coaching guys, book yourself a 30 minute consult. And at the end of that consult, I duck off any package that you pick. Also guys, in the description below for those discount codes and promo codes that save life or change life for the better. Like Johnny10 for 10% off BlueStarNutraceuticals.com. Anyway guys, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat. Make sure you guys follow Dorian, Antoine, Cody. Just go on Pure Muscle and Fitness. Everyone's there. I'll put, all, there. I'll put all the names down here. Make sure you guys follow them. Wealth of knowledge, motivation, all that jazz. Anyway guys, you know how it is. Iron sharpens iron. Progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep you chasing. Peace.